everyone good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time we're reaching you thank you once again guys um, for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people we really appreciate you i will pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country We've got a shocking one, interesting at the same time, um, something that is coming from a pastor, Pastor Tunde Bakari. We all know him very well of the um, Citadel Global Community Church. He's the general overseer. The church was formerly known as Lateran Assembly, Pastor Tunde Bakari. He has made a controversial statement. He has made a statement about uh, the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, this has caused a lot of reaction. Everyone is literally talking about it right now. It's quite interesting. And let's recall that not long ago, um, this same Tunde Bakari came out to Nigerians to state that um, he's ready to take over from President Mohamed Buhari. That if Nigerians uh, are willing to elect him, I mean, that's good, knowing fully well that he's not imposing himself on Nigerians or he doesn't, he's not assuming that Nigerians will accept him. So he, he made that offer, bold offer that he's making himself available. If Nigerians would vote him in, he's ready to take over from President Mohamed Buhari. Bola Tinubu is someone who is nursing 2023 presidential idea and ambition. However, we know very well that um, he has not come out openly. He's not come out in the plane to actually state his intentions and his motive and um, his interest to become the president. He has been uh, playing a lot of games, a lot of uh, um, um, political strategizing here and there. But Nigerians can read in between the lines. Nigerians know very well that this Bola Tinubu is seriously, seriously um, looking forward to becoming Nigerians president. He wishes. He doesn't. <laughs> I know he, he would definitely know the sort of reservations that Lagosians and Nigerians um, have for him. Anyway, Pastor Tunde Bakari has um, made a shocking statement regarding Tinubu um, coming for 2023 and also previous elections. Um, Tinubu has been the former governor of Lagos State for two terms, but um, since leaving power, since uh, handing over, leaving the government house, Lagosians has have still not recovered from um, the claims of all of um, the, the the pains he caused in the state and uh, non-development that he brought to the state and all of that. But it's so surprising that Pastor Tunde Bakari is speaking so well of him that nothing, no one can actually stop Tinubu to become president, um, to forge ahead with his uh, political ambition and aspirations that uh, in 2019 and 2015 that um, he didn't need the help of anyone that um, he was able to accomplish all that he accomplished. We'll bring you all of the details, all that um, Tunde Bakare has stated that is um, raising a lot of um, argument right now. But before we do, my beautiful people, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. God bless you. Yes, let's get into the news now. The serving overseer of Citadel Global Community Church, formerly known as Lata Rain Assembly, Pastor Tunde Bakari has said the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Asewaju Bola Tinubu, used his political dexterity to win elections for the party in 2015 and 2019. Bakari stated this while speaking at the church recently unveiled Citadel in Lagos. According to him, God does not need anyone's permission to put Tinubu in his Hall of Fame. The fairy clerk likened Tinubu to Jephthah in the Bible, who delivered his people despite his circumstances of his birth. Hear me loud and clear. Knowing the name of Asiwaju's mother or father or his place of birth can neither put food on the table of the hungry or create jobs for the unemployed, despite his growing up challenges. The dents and the debtors of his life is like Jephthah, delivered Lagos State and almost all the Southwest states from the onslaught of the PDP from 1999 to 2007. Truth be told, without his cooperation and political dexterity, the APC's victory at the polls in 2015 and 2019 would have been impossible, Bakari said. He further insisted that he's not Tinubu's brand manager, 
But all he knows is that just as every saint has a past, every sinner has a future. All Tunde Bakari is painting um, for um, Nigerians right now is most probably to see him in a good light. You know, Tunde Bakari has just stated that um, Tinubu has made massive contributions to the All Progressive Congress. You know, Tinubu was one of the major um, um, supporters of President Mohamed Buhari. He campaigned heavily for him um, during the 2015 and the 2019 election. I don't know why this is coming up right now, why he's speaking so positively for Bola Tinubu, but we know very well that Lagosians and even Nigerians at large um, don't have this kind of perception about um, Bola Tinubu. The reactions that have been coming so far is um, for us to really look at um, Lagos State, what Tinubu has turned Lagos State into. Tinubu is no longer the governor of Lagos State, but you can imagine the weight he holds in that state. Most contracts still go through him. His children, they are still in charge in the state. And he looks like um, the godfather in the state, which is hindering a lot of things. His children are, are, he, he are lodgers and all of that um, within um, Lagos. State. Not long ago, um, one of the former PDP's chieftain uh, came out to drag Bola Tinubu that um, Tinubu should come and state the work that he does, that he owns a um, private jet and all of that. That... Um, and he stated many things that even the billboard in Lagos State, if you need to um, set up a billboard, you have to go through Tinubu's son. And he made that claim so boldly that if um, he's lying, let Tinubu come and uh, counter all he's saying. So, but this, uh, this pastor has got a um, different opinion about um, Bola Tinubu, that Tinubu is... Um, someone to be reckoned with and he even likened him to someone in the scripture Jephthah that de despite um, his background and his um, upbringing um, God still used um, Jephthah to do all that um, he did most probably this is a message um, maybe to change the heart of um, the electorate ahead of 2023 to actually um, vote for Bola Tinubu when he finally decides to unveil his uh, um, intentions his presidential intentions and ambition but um, this has not gone well with Nigerians because um, they've really kicked against it. And you know, anyway, you mentioned Tinubu's name as, as president. Nigerians don't, it doesn't sit well with Nigerians at all. And uh, this pastor has gotten a lot of backlash um, for declaring that um, 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 Tinubu has been a savior to the country. Guys, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.